Morning YouTubers, I hope everybody is well. It is a splendid Monday morning. We had a fantastic weekend. Got a new game in the uh well, in fact I've got a new 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 console, so I bought bought PS5 from the uh <clears throat> from a little boy and then I accidentally downloaded a new game called Final Fantasy Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which is like my childhood like the best game in the world in the whole existence if, if I was going to like play one game for the rest of my life it would be Final Fantasy 7 but now they've made Final Fantasy 7 Remake so I accidentally downloaded that accidentally. and then accidentally spent literally like from 7 in the morning till 10 at night <laughs> Saturday and Sunday playing it um, and then the wife just brought me food and drink all weekend so I've had a nice chill relaxing weekend I mean, little boy hates me because didn't even <laughs> didn't even get a Luxie in on the PlayStation. But. So nice and fresh. We're doing a, a leg session today, and we're going to work up to we we'll start with step ups, warm the muscles up, get everything activated, and we're we'll getting straight into squats. And um, we'll go as heavy as we can, just just for a single rep, maybe two reps. So see what we can uh, sort of get up to. I like to keep the level of strength, as I keep saying. And not too strong, but not too weak, somewhere in the middle, you know, sort of elite. Strong, strongness. What do you reckon, Pat? We'll go for 300 kilo, maybe a little bit more. 300 a backflip. 300 kilo and a bit with a backflip, with it on your back. With it on your back. Yeah. You, not me. No, you. <laughs> you do it first. Oh, you smack I'll follow. <laughs> we'll uh, get me intra. Workout drink set. So I'm on the Impact EAAs. Just getting some amino acids in, the essential amino acids in for the session. I'll wash it down with some uh, some beast juice. Right, that's good mornings done. Worked up to that's 115 kilos, the bar's 35, I think. So that'll do for that. Uh, we'll get on to the normal squats now and see what we can do. How are you feeling, buddy? You up for a PB? Ha! PB? PB? No? Looks like three stones. Look like lost four stone. Whee! Squats up next. <laughs> so we'll see how, how heavy we can go. Uh, usually around the 300, see so if we can get a little bit more today. Uh, put a bit of weight on actually, I'm back up to about 160 kilos. Uh, feeling really, really strong with it and very fit. It's always good. When I put a little bit more weight on, I always try and push the weights a bit more as well. Also, we've got in prototype. A lever belt that's still in the making um, stealth beast so this is 
I always like to swap my belts. I've got like a squat belt, I've got a deadlifting belt, which I'll show you soon. Um, and then a powerlifting belt. So when I get on the on the exercises where you, to keep, where you need to keep your back straight a bit more, these powerlifting belts are the business. So I'm just fine tuning it before we uh, bring it to production. Right, 265, four reps, nice and comfy. Usually jump to 305 now, don't we? Let's do another 20 and a 10. So that's 300 and 325 kilo. Just do that for a single. Get the flex in that bar. Trained on this bar for over 10 years. So it, like, used it all throughout my strongman career. It's a little bit thinner and a foot longer. So this is an eight foot bar. Standard bar is seven foot. So what I find is that extra length makes it whippier, harder to, harder to sort of balance on your back, which makes your core work harder, makes your legs work harder, your calves, your feet, makes everything work a lot harder, which I can't, can't describe it until you actually get on this thing and compare it to a normal squat bar. This is probably adding at least 10%, you know, in difference. So if you're doing 320 on this, it's the equivalent to doing 350 on a normal bar. And that, that's no exaggeration. shake as I'm walking it back. Oh, right. Happy with that for a single. That'll do. Again, it's a good base of strength. Right, that squat's done. Next up on the agenda, we have reverse hypers. It's one of my favorite exercises. Really good at decompressing the back. So the squats compress your spine, the reverse hyper decompress your spine. Is that one or two scoops? Oh, that was one. Oh, one? Yeah, you just did one. Was it? Yeah. It looks like I'm going to put it back in and do two again. I don't know if it's one or two, and I don't trust you. Now. <coughs> okay. Quite even do simple math. Right, I'll get this protein shake down. We get onto the reverse hypers. We usually do abs, abs and biceps on leg day. It's all like good, good assistance. Well, obviously, biceps isn't, but the, the abs are a good assistance exercises for all the core that we've been doing 
doing today. Uh, and I like to train my biceps twice a week. So Mondays always seems to be a good day to do biceps and so is Thursday. So I usually do hammers, no, normal curls on Monday and then hammers on Thursday. So we'll do normal, normal curls today. So, uh, right, reverse hyper, here we go. That is a rush for today. Really good, strong, powerful leg session. Uh, so a 320 squat is uh, it's no light feet. Um, ideally, I'd like to do a bit more than that, but I'm just gauging it with a new body weight, new regime. Balancing it all with the boxing as well, keeping that fitness is... It's tough being big, strong and fit all at the same time, it really is. So, uh, but I really want to try and get that a little bit stronger at a lighter body weight, which I seem to be. Seems to be very gradually sort of coming up, getting used to the new body weight and everything's going, going well. So, it's 12 o'clock now, so we've just done a two and a half hour session. Uh, I'll have a bit of lunch, have a nap, have another dinner, another lunch, and then boxing tonight. So, you know, and I've done a done a, a run this morning, did a mile and a half run this morning. So I'm training three times a day most days. Um, it, it does get it does get a bit much sometimes. You know, some days I wake up and I'm absolutely knackered, battered, bruised, sore. But them are the days I enjoy. Them are the ones that count. You know, them are the ones where most people will just stay in bed, turn back around and uh, not do the sessions. But that's where my mentality comes in of pushing those boundaries and going above and beyond what, what anyone else considered to be elite. I'll take it a level up from that. So feeling good, everything's on track. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Anything you want to see, hit me up in the comments. But a big thanks to Paddy as well, he's doing, doing a good job of being pounded on a regular basis. Oh. Thank you Paddy. It's not the first time. <laughs> right then guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Big old the beast. Take care.